So, it seems Fable 4 has had an upgrade of sorts. The main protagonist has gone from this ultra plain face over 9000 level unlocked to this. And when I match this up against Lily Nicole, it seems the face is now a better representation of what the actress looks like. I could almost say she was trapped in there somehow, probably by the magic of Western game studios don't have the technology or technical know-how to accurately scan beautiful models and actresses into their games. Yes, that's the magic that was used and the sorcerer behind this magic I would have to assume was Lily Nicole's evil twin brother, Billy. Let's call him Billy Nicole. Indeed, Billy was again jealous of his sister's success, so he took her place. He used the magic I just described and because he bears a somewhat vague resemblance to his twin sister, Nicole, the developers at Playground Games, those silly western modern audience focused devs who sometimes can't tell the difference between a face with female features and a face with high level testosterone male features, well, those developers were unable to catch on to Billy's little scheme. You see, what bothers me the most about Lily's evil twin brother Billy is that he claims to care about his sister and women in general. And he says things like if the women in the real world see or keep seeing women as beautiful as his sister represented in games, they'll delete themselves. So to save women, Billy claims, for the sake of all women across western society, Billy has to swap places with his sister because Billy believes that Lily's overall female traits are an unrealistic beauty standard for women and his male traits like his masculine jaw and chin and his general male ugliness, those are a more accurate representation of what women look like in the real world. That's just how Billy thinks, how he came to these enlightened conclusions has something to do with gender study programs, third wave feminist activism, communism, gender affirmation, a whole host of ideas and literature designed to make Billy and the games he inhabits more sensitive and boring. But now because Lily is a strong female character, she has risen back to the surface, removing Billy from her face and asserting herself once again as a woman who looks like what women look like in the real world. Good for you, Lily. But before we get carried away, do remember that this upgrade for Fable 4's female protagonist only applies to Lily's face and only Lily's face. The rest of her body still very much belongs to Billy. So her height and step are still very much that of a man. I mean, look at that walk. That's a realistic representation of how women walk in the real world. Okay then. Anyway, what I find interesting about this upgrade is, weren't we all told that Western game studios didn't have the skill or expertise to do one-to-one -one facial and body scans of the female models and or actresses they use in their games? Wasn't that what they told us like throughout 2023? That um... What were the explanations they used? Who cares? That's what they were saying. But now in the case of Fable 4, when the blowback was just too much, all of a sudden the technology and expertise to capture Lily Nicole's face, just her face by the way, I don't think that Lily's shoulders are that broad, nor do I believe that her figure towers above most men in the real world, nor any world for that matter. But suddenly it seems the technology and expertise to capture her face almost accurately has materialized from the ether. Almost as if somewhere in one of those servers at Playground Studios, a folder with a file was being kept under lock and key. And now that the winds are changing, too many people have caught on to Billy's scheme of swapping places with his sister. Well, voila! Lily Nicole's appearance in the game now looks a little closer to Lily Nicole's appearance in the real world. Funny how that works. What's also funny is when people like Escapebox and other gamers online mention that we would like actresses and models like Lily Nicole, Jade Rossi, Hannah Hoistra, Alex Wilton Reagan, to name but a few who keep getting replaced by their evil twin brothers in games to look like themselves in games. You know, the natural female beauty that they have in the real world. When we say that we would like to see that beauty represented accurately in games, we are labeled as people who dislike women women for wanting women like them in video games to look like the real women who they are in the real world. Escape Box is the bad guy for wanting Hannah to look like Hannah and when I say look like Hannah, I mean her face as well as her body, her natural feminine curves, the stuff she was born with. That's what I want her to look like in the game. 
I want her to look like herself. Oh, I'm the bad guy for wanting Alex to look like Alex in a game instead of looking like Joanna Dark's evil twin brother, Johannes Dark. Yes, let's call him Johannes Dark. The evil twin with the perfect masculine jaw, designed to put the jaws of most men to shame. No, our dear friends at Xbox and Microsoft and your gaming for everyone product inclusion framework, this is what Alex Wilton Reagan looks like. This is not Alex. This is Johanna Dark's evil twin brother, Johannes Dark. He is masquerading as his sister because he is jealous of his sister. He doesn't care about his sister and women in general like he claims. If he did, he wouldn't be trying to take his sister's place. Nor would he be arguing that accurate representations of people as attractive as his sister in games are an unrealistic beauty standard for women. You see, unlike what Billy Nicole and Johannes Dark would want you to believe, the majority of women in the real world are attractive. I'm not saying that they are nines and tens. I'm not saying that most of them would make it onto the cover of Vogue. Although Vogue sometimes, mm -mm -mm. nope. Forget Vogue. I'm not saying that most of them would make it onto my list of perfect 10 Insta thoughts. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is most women in the real world are attractive. Most women look like women. Sixes, sevens, eights. That's why there's eight billion of us. So how about the women in games stop looking like Billy Nicole and Johannes Dark? How about they start looking like Lily Nicole and Alex Wilton Reagan? You know, real women. And when they look like E from Stellar Blade, don't throw fits because guess what? They are real women in the real world who look like her too. Anyway, congratulations to Lily Nicole. I'm glad those devs in Western Game Studios have finally figured out how to accurately capture the faces of the models and actors actresses they use. Hopefully they'll figure out how to capture the rest of her body before the game releases. Hopefully.